I'm going to show you how to actually get a BCE ID account. Click on the How to Get a BCE ID link. Let's make our screen a little bigger. And we're going to register for a basic BCE ID account by clicking on this button. Let's scroll down our page. And we'll click on the Virtual Front Counter BC link and register to get this BCE ID account. In this field, we'll choose a user ID, a user ID that is a unique name and that you use to identify your BCE ID account. It must be between 3 and 20 characters long and may only contain letters, numbers, periods, dashes, and underscores. You may choose your own user ID or use one from the list below. I'm going to choose my own user ID. Now you want to choose your password and it must be eight characters long. We do recommend a strong password. This bar will define the strength of your password. I'm going to choose my own password now. Now I'm going to confirm the password that I've chosen. BCEID does like to get our contact information in the event that they want to send you an, e an email. So we'll put in under known as the same as your user ID. In this case, L Price. My email address. My contact phone number. Let's select a question. A memorable person. and an important date. Now we have to put in the security control just so that they know that it's an actual person that's putting in this request and not a computer. It's really hard to tell what it says though. MP193, I think. I've agreed to the terms. Next. So I've got some errors. The user L price is not available. So I am going to change that to FL price. And I'll go back down here. And that's NPL ninety three. NPL nine three. There you go. Account confirmation. I now have a basic BCEID account.